Welcome back to Bed Wars. Today we're talking about Rome's Mad Emperors, and we're going to start off with Caligula. And so, Caligula became emperor in 37 CE or AD, whatever you prefer. And, you know, after Tiberi people were, you know, done with Tiberius, people were pretty happy with this guy, you know, at, at, at first, because, you know, he was the son of Germanicus, he was related to Augustus people, you know, pretty, like this guy, and so, his early reign was pretty good, because, you know, he, he lowered taxes a lot, he, he returned exiled peoples a lot, and, you know, j generally was not that bad, a lot, and so, you know, people liked him, but then he got sick, like, very sick. And so, you know, the people after going through Tiberius was like, please, we got a good emperor. Please don't let him die. But, you know, then he recovered, fortunately or unfortunately, if you know the context of his reign. But anyhow, he was, he was like, after his recovery, maybe he started thinking he was some kind of a god. And so, was like, all right. Now I'm a god. Um, you have to, you have to sub like change all the heads of statues with my head. Thank you very much. And you know, people were like, "Wait a minute, well, what happened to him?" And so, is my bet is my bet fine? Ah, whatever. I don't even care. And so. Let me tell you some of the things this dude did during his four four year reign. One time he was looking to invade Britannia, which is Britain. But the thing the biggest threat to his, you know, conquest in Britain was not not like the inhabitants, but like the weather. And so he was like, alright. Nep Neptune, Neptune blocked my, blocked my expansion too much. We gotta declare war on Neptune. Not even kidding. And so, you know, he declared war on Neptune. So, you know, you might think, well, how are you supposed to fight a sea god? Well, this is how he fought him. He took all of his soldiers, ordered them to stab the ocean, and took all his precious seashells. Yes, that's how you won v one a god. Oh, that man just fell in the void. Very good. Anyhow, white, are you just... Uh, what are you doing? Mmm, please... Holy crap. Yeah, so that's your seal here. And other things he did was okay, he heard Tiberius one of Tiberius's astrologers say, Oh, the chance of Caligula becoming the Emperor is as low as crossing the Bay of Baye with a horse. And so naturally Caligula heard that and was like, Oh yeah? You challenge me? So yes, he gathered like all available ships in Italy, which was like 800, 700-ish ships. Brought them to this bay just so he can line them up in a tight formation and cross it triumphantly. <laughs> now there are some people who say this that never happened and it is possible but given all the other things he did probably did and anyhow other things a lot of people use this as like a fun fun fact in history where Caligula appointed his horse as consul now he did think about doing it but he never actually did it you know he only thought of doing it but although my guess is he only did it because the senate would never be able to understand his horse's 
incredible genius. Because let's be honest, a horse is way more smarter than the entire Roman Senate put together. How did I die? With, how did we kill each other? Okay. Whatever, ping. So yes, obviously people, the people living under him were, you know, pretty pissed that they had to do it, do all of this and, you know, live through all this after living through Tiberius. So a man named Cassius Correa formed like a plot to kill him. And, you know, they worked. They, he was like in like a theater and got killed, you know, the stabby way. I guess he learned a thing or two about Julius Caesar, you know, the stabby way, why not? And anyhow, then his uncle Claudius became emperor, but we're not here to talk about Claudius. We're here to talk about his heir, who is Lucius, or way better known as Nero. Yes, I know a lot of, a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, Nero. I hate this guy, and you know, it's fair, it's fair enough, I'm not saying you should, Nero's a good dude or anything, but let me tell you a little thing, a thing or two about Nero. I can't let that guy live, he's gonna rush my bed. So, this dude, yes, okay, let me just clear up one of the, one of the, um, big misconceptions of his rule he did not a lot of people are like oh my god he started the fi the great fire of rome so he can build a palace and he only blamed it on the christians so he don't get bad street cred yes it did happen the great fire obviously but nero didn't start it because you know rome was the city of one million small scale fires happened every now and then and so, you know, it just, you know, a lot of fires happened, but just this one got out of control. And, you know, just to, just to, you know, blame, try, try not to get himself a bad street cred. He, he blamed it on the Christians. Yes, it's true. He killed them, but he did pretty savage things to them, like lighting them up and using them as torches. So, yeah. Very, very kind. Not really. <laughs> Let me tell you, other, other than, other than the Christian and Great Fire things. Let me tell you a thing or two about his his love life. Uh, he got married to a woman named Octavia, who was his first wife, but. Nero wasn't happy because Octavia couldn't like get have kids or whatever. So you know, I I I do understand that whole like kings being well not king but he wasn't a king but you know still paranoia about not having a son. I do I do understand that because I I I read a lot of history. What what? Take the knockback. Take the knockback. Wait. I hate this game. What was that? He should have just died. Flown off the edge. And he doesn't. He doesn't. Because screw me, said Hypixel. Okay, okay, okay. This ain't okay. This ain't okay. Oh, he's good retreating. Um, alright, I guess. So, you know, but Octavia was like, you know, a virtuous, caring wife. Who was, you know, nice and everything. But just because she couldn't bear kids, Nero divorced her. And I do get the whole divorcing, but he did kill her. Well, not, not him, but he ordered it. Because after all, who would want to marry a caring, loving wife? And then he married Poppea. Now, I don't really need to know anything about here, but here, her, but 
when she was pregnant, I don't know exactly what happened, but apparently she was like being annoying, so Nero Nero kicked her in the belly, which still had his child and killed her and her his his kid. I don't I don't the man the man's crazy. What 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 I what I have to say to convince you the man was crazy. So yeah, that was that was Nero, but eventually the people were again pretty similar to Caligula. The people were pretty pretty fed up with his crap, so the the Senate declared him an enemy of Rome and subsequently he died. Why don't this man take KB? What? This man just refuses to take KB. There goes your invis. Alright. What? Are you kidding me? Bro. This is a scam. Alright, you clown. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna wait for his jump boost to run out. <laughs> you know, they good old annoying tactic. I don't think it's gonna run out in time, is it? No, it isn't. Oh, wait, it did. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. <laughs> mm. So, yes. And eventually he fled to a, a random, random sea town. Not sea town, but like one of the villas. And just. <laughs> He just he just killed himself in the story, and now now the year of the four emperors began. Fun, <laughs> anyhow. Next on the list, Commodus. Now, if if I say Commodus, people who watched Gladiator will be like, "Oh my God, he was a C U N T." Maxim. What was this? What was that dude's name? Maximian? No, that was. How was that? I forgot the name. <laughs> Anyhow, you know, people would be like, oh my god, there's that dude from Gladiator who got owned by the Max Maxim Maximian. I, I that's that's my best guess. I forgot. It's it's been a while since I watched. Don't judge me. And yes, it's true he He did fight in the arena. And the Colosseum. This is the dumbest battle I've ever been in. Alright, can we actually fight? I can see you. Mm. What? Die. Thank you. On to the next game. So yes, Commodus. You might be like, oh, he killed the... He killed Marcus Aurelius to gain power, and no, Marcus Aurelius died of like natural causes. I, I I remember, but I mean, there is like people who who say Commodus poisoned him, and seeing how he was completely crazy, it is plausible. But uh, we don't have we don't have solid evidence to go off of. That's your, that's your, that's your, what? It goes, the ex, it hit, the, it hits the player tag. Okay, okay, okay. I just can't be bothered to complain about this game anymore. So yeah, he and peep up, and so yes, Commodus now in power. That guy's just gonna be annoying there, for till forever. How surprising! Are you going back? No, out of here. Oh, he fell. 
All right, whatever. And let me just tell you some things he did. One time, one time he renamed Rome to like Alia Comedia or something. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> and, you know, renamed the Romans as Commodians and replaced all 12 months with his self-given names. I I can't be bothered to remember them. But all we can say for sure is Com Commodus is a big C-U-N-T. Am I right? And yes, he did fight in the gladiatorial in the arena or the Colosseum, whatever. But he, he wasn't... Fa you know, if you saw Joe Biden, like, fight... Not fight, but like, you know, in the NFL, obviously America would be loving that, but he didn't. He, I mean, he did, but people didn't love, love him for it because, you know, gladiator was a job for the slaves and, you know, people seeing the emperor fighting, a, oh, fighting, but doing a job of a slave wasn't very happy. Oh God, there's a lot of people. I, I do not want to deal with any of these people. Thank you. Okay. Oh god. Gonna have to make my last stand. Mm. Mm. <gasps> yes. Thank God for that. And also thank God for that. How nice. Anyway, so where where were we? Oh yeah, Commodus. And so yeah, he fought like a couple hundred times in the arena, but it's not like it's not like he fought like actual gladiatorial legends. He fought retired, old, disabled, his own servants. He fought those kind of people instead of actual gladiators. So don't be like, oh my god, he, he fought a couple hundred times and didn't lose? What a, what a, what a chad. No, he, he literally fought like a kid. Don't praise him a little too much. Oh god, I, I, I was not paying attention, was I? Oh, good job. What? What? What the? What the? What the? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna presume like I can not care anymore. I'm I'm sure I'm sure Harp Hypixel has his own bizarro reasons for that, which I don't care. I actually have quite a lot of diamonds. All right, so with all this, he did like severely drain the the treasury. Yes, and oh god, I opened the shop. <laughs> And, you know, the people, again, were pretty pissed, but this, unlike, unlike, you know, Gladiator, his death wasn't that, you know, dramatic. Oh, Maximian killed the dude, incredible. Not like that. He, he was in, like, some, like, bathhouse, and a dude named Nars, I uh, not dude, but, like, first, a woman named Marcia tried to like poison him but a, I don't know if he like built a poison immune or something but he didn't die and so his bodybuilder well not bodybuilder fitness trainer I guess you could say anyhow his fitness trainer mm, Narcissus killed him by like strangulation or whatever and then the year of the year of the five emperors have not yes five emperors there's like three of them don't excuse me if i lose track of them but anyhow this leads on to septimius Sever severus which i mean we're not here to talk about severus we're here to talk about his heir who is Caracalla and Geta. Now, you gotta know a little bit about Caracalla to understand. 
the understand not Caracalla, Septimius Severus to understand Caracalla. So yeah. So Septimius Severus had like two sons, which he made both of them his heirs. One was named Geta, and the other Caracalla. And what you gotta know about what you gotta know about these two brothers is they hate each other. Oh god, I messed up terribly. How am I this bad? Anyhow, whatever. I'm, 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 all, I'm always bad, but just especially more in that occasion. And so, you know, when they became, when they became Augustus's, like, his mother, like, brought them both in and were like, oh, yeah, brothers, oh, blah, 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 blah. You, 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 you. Alright, well, thanks for the diamonds, I guess. Oh, yeah, your, your brother's always oh, the popular MMO skin. I feel bad. I used to watch him. Goodbye. Anyhow. So. Where were we? Okay, so, like, during his whole, his mom's whole, like, oh, yeah, bro brother's blah, blah, blah speech, he literally stabbed him. Yeah. He's a crazy man. But let me tell you guys a little other things he did. He... Apparently, he only ate seafood when it was far away from the coast where it became a luxurious commodity. And did, like, held major parties and invited nobody to him because, you know, hoarding all the food... And inviting nobody to the parties hmm, seems like a very wise use of resources. I'm sure that won't that won't you know be bad any uh, you know drain the treasury never 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 happens. Oh God, I bomb. <laughs> Wait, yes, that bridge exists. Thank God. And so other things he did during his reign. He gave every single Roman, well, yes, every single sit, not citizen yet, but he gave every single free male Roman citizenship. Now you might be like, oh, oh, this seems like a, a wise idea, you know. Now these people will be more in, like, you know, be more Roman and stuff. Yeah, it seems like a good thing. Why are you calling them mad for it? Because... Because he did that just so they, can, they, they, you know, he did that just so they can pay taxes. Yeah. And what did he do with all those taxes, you ask? Well, I'm glad you ask. He demolished several, several plebeian districts and ordered built the Baths of Caracalla in, the, in their place. Which is considered to be one of the most luxurious buildings in history. This man took no knockback. I hate this game. And he threw all away all the resources, bro. Well, I mean, I have two, uh, two iron and one diamond. Yay. So yes. Build, build massive, luxurious complexes just because you feel like it. Hmm. Okay, other things he did. One one day, the Parthian king, which is like, like, it, like you know, Persian Empire bootleg. Well, not bootleg, but you know, par Persian Empire came. The um, the king came to him and was like, "Oh, please, allow us marry my daughter, and we can you know have have a period of peace between our 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 empires, and you know." Caracalla was like, sure thing, man, I will, I will marry your daughter, but then, as soon as he got to Parthia, he just slaughtered the entire marriage party, because, because why not? Why not, man? And <laughs> Caracalla, he does a bit of trolling. Any, anyhow, although, you know, he did all that, people, obviously didn't like him but 
he he get like the army was never gonna overthrow him because the arm he gave like a lot of money to the army to not like, not get overthrown. So one of the Praetorian prefects was like, "All right, I'm I'm gonna kill him, and you know since I'm the Praetorian prefect, they're gonna ave me." And so while while he was in the in the sands after doing that whole little bit of trolling thing the the dude like went to some soldier that was rejected a promotion and was like oh look at that dude he rejected your promotion don't you feel mad get him yeah let the dark side take over you gave him a sword and oh god no 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 absolutely not Absolutely not. This recording doesn't have to be that long. And so yeah, he died. And the Praetorian Prefect Macrinus took over, but then he died and Elagabalus happened. Anyhow, they all died. The end. None of them were that good. But yeah. So um that was this video. Like, sub. I guess, or you don't have to, and you just do your free will or whatever, bye.